Shalom, 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 Israel. It's your King and Shepherd, KD, coming with another message of daily edification brought to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. All praise is due. Hope your day is going well. Uh, a lot going on. A lot going on in this world. Um, it's continuing to crumble. It's continuing to crumble, man. Um, the EBT, they're getting ready to knock that out. What? Think next month? Um, if you got more than two kids, they'll only pay for that two for right now. And then after that, man, they're going to zero. They're finna zero out everybody. You know who that's going to hurt mostly. You know, it's going to get some Jaffites too, but not like it's going to get Jake. Um, the $50 UBI, the Democrats are trying to push that through right now. What that means is that's universal basic income um they're going to get everybody on 50 dollars an hour right but see it ain't nothing but a monkey show man they 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 going to really i told y'all man before they're going to really niggas in with 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 uh with with the monkey show ooh 50 dollars an hour ooh man i can live on that man that's 8000 dollars a month <laughs> You really think they're going to let you enjoy that? You really think they're getting ready to let you enjoy that? Be, be, be real for a minute, okay? When America was thriving and had money and what, none of this bricks going on and none of that, they had niggas at what, $7, $8? So you mean to tell me the banks are going to wait until they're collapsing to start paying niggas more? Hope y'all wake up, man. All of you out there in, you know, zombie land <laughs> that think that this damn country finna do something for you, man. It's a fucking trap. They're going to get you on that shit. But what they're going to make you do, they're going to probably, they're going to make you sign up. First of all, if you ain't got the booyow, and you know what that is, if you ain't got the booyow, then they're going to make you do that. Then they're going to line you up for that CDC, CBDC. It's a lot. And once you do that, you win the game. You win the game. All right? Locked in. Locked in. So, um, man. Oh, and also, that's going to be locked into that neural link. And like I said, the neural link, when you go to the Revelations 13, and I'm going to get to the lesson in a minute. We got to finish up. Uh, 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 in a book of Samuel, but I just wanted to drop this on y'all, right? And uh, what is that? Is it 13 and 10 or 13 and 13 and 16, I believe. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I didn't read it too many times. And he shall cause them all, both small and great, free and bond, rich and poor, and all that to receive a mark in their hand or in their, or in their forehead, right? Well, that's the neural link. And they got it in somebody and the shit's working. He was, this dude was able to like move the mouse on the computer, you know, to be jumping around. He's able to do that with his brain. So the neural link, like I said, is going to be for like the ones that are considered a little more higher up, like supervisors, managers, stuff like that. Right. And then the one in the hand, that's for you workers. So they're going to be able to go to the screen with their mind, okay? They're going to be able to keep tabs on you and cut your pay, take, stop your money, just like that, okay? So it's a mad world coming. Now, those of you in the royal house, man, I, 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 I'm telling you, man, ain't nobody dispersing this information nowhere. That's why, uh, uh, well, they got some that's waking up, but it's very far and few. Go around your neighborhood, man, or anywhere or in your family and see who knows this. See who's telling you this. See who's talking about it. Nobody, especially us, especially us. We are the most uninformed, uneducated, you know, people, man. That's why the most I said. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 
You ain't out there grabbing it, man. You ain't out there grabbing it. You know? And it's going to be a sad thing. These people are going to get run over by a truck. They're not going to know what hit them. And it's sad. And the bad thing is, some of y'all, man, y'all tried to tell them it that. I want to hear that shit. I want to hear that shit. Man, no, man, get on out of here, man. Man, that $50, man, that, that's part of, that, that start lining their own shit up. Man, that, that's part of, <laughs> that, that's part, that, that's part of the, the reparations, the, re, the respirations, man. That's part of the respirations. <laughs> the respirations. Uncle Remus with a fucking uh, 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 bottle of Remy Martin next to his ass. Don't know shit. Man, that's part of respirations, man. Shit. Man, but man, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. That's just which that shit you talking is crazy, man. No, this country, man, this is the most powerful country in the world. Oh, we're the most powerful country in the world now, huh, Uncle Remus? Cause your ass don't want to go nowhere. See, motherfuckers attached to this world. But anyway, want to give y'all that 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 chicken nugget. Okay. Hey y'all, I told you. This world is coming to an end. And they're talking about implementing that damn neural link in that chip by May. That's when they're going to start it. So, all you Christians, damn, how much time I'm burning? All right, I'm good. All you fucking Christians, man, y'all y'all finna learn, okay? Y'all finna learn, dude. That's all I'm going to tell you. But uh, let's uh finish uh, up, hopefully, um, our lesson today. And if not, we just have to do another one. All right. But uh, I want to hit y'all up with 2 Samuel chapter 15. All right. So far, David's folly has got him caught up with, with the Most High. All right. Here's the thing about the Most High. See, he take his time getting your ass back. Okay. He don't, he don't like, you know, make it quick. No. He want to sit back. He want to sit back and make you feel it. All right. So this is what he doing to David, man. So he done turned his own son against him. Okay. With some shit that David didn't do. See, David didn't have no honor in him. He'd kill everybody else, but he have no honor to 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 get the ones close to him see he was being a respecter of persons but he couldn't do it because he was unrighteous in killing uriah's wife i mean salat husband all right and then he he uh uh uh, uh he got uriah killed and then he took his wife and got her pregnant no nah, that's foul as hell so, most high making to pay for it. All right, 2 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 1. And it came to pass after this that Absalom prepared him chariots and horses and 50 men to run before him. And Absalom rose up early and stood beside the way of the gate. And it was so that when any man that had a controversy came to the king for judgment, then Absalom called unto him, wait a minute, y'all hear this? <laughs> I'm going to start off verse 1 again. And it came to pass that after this, Absalom prepared himself, chariots and horses, and 50 men to run before him. So this nigga was thinking about this shit hard. And he rose up early and stood beside the way of the gate. And it was so that when any man that had a controversy came to the king for judgment, then Absalom called unto him and said, Of what city are you? And he said, Thy servant is of one of the tribes of Israel. And Absalom said unto him, See, thy matters are good and right, but there is no man de 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 deputed of the king to hear thee. So deputed is where they get the word deputy from. All right. So he said, There is no man deputed of the king to hear of thee. Absalom said, Moreover, Oh, that I were made judge in the land, that every man which hath any suit or cause might come unto me and would join him, would, would do him, uh, that would come unto me, I would do him justice. It was so that, and it was so 
that when any man came nigh to him to do him ob obeisance, he put forth his hand and took it and kissed him. And on this manner did Absalom to all Israel that came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. So this nigga, Absalom, campaigning at the gates of the city before they could get to David. Be like, no, 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 no. Hey, check it out. Hey, let me holler at you. If you roll with me, I'll make sure your ass get justice. All right? All you got to do is kiss the ring. Bam. They kiss the ring. And you know, a nigga word meant something back then. All right? So, <laughs> after he kissed the ring, he got him. They like, man, we rolling with you. Fuck David. And that's what he did, man. Ooh, that's some cold shit. Verse 7. And it came to pass. After 40 years, the Absalom said unto the king, Do y'all hear that shit? 40 years he ignored this little nigger. <laughs> and it came to pass after 40 years that Absalom said unto the king, I pray thee, let me go and pay my vow which I have vowed unto the Lord in Hebron. For thy servant vowed a vow while I abode in Geshur in Syria saying, if the Lord shall bring me again indeed to Jerusalem, then I will serve the Lord. And the king said unto him, go in peace. So he arose and went to Hebron. But Absalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, as soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then ye shall say, Absalom reigneth in Hebron. And with Absalom went 200 men out of Jerusalem that were called, and they went in their simplicity, and they knew not anything. And Absalom sent for Ahathapo, the Gilanite, David's counselor, from his city, even from uh, Gilo, while he offered sacrifices. And the conspiracy was strong, for the people increased continually with Absalom. Forty years this nigga was doing this shit, man. Thirteen. And there came a messenger to David saying, the hearts of the men of Israel are after Absalom. Well, duh. Duh, David. 40 years, motherfucker. But he couldn't move. His sin paralyzed him for 40 fucking years. Man. Verse 14. And David said unto all his servants that were with him at Jerusalem, Arise and let us flee, for we shall not else escape from Absalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly and bring evil upon us and smite the city with the edge of the sword. Now, David just got through running from Saul for 20 years. The Most High delivered him, all right? Delivered him. He fucked up because he got on his high horse, thinking he could do whatever he wanted to do, got the man murdered for some booty, tried to hide it, got caught, and now he on the run again. Just go to show you, man. You can do some dumb ass shit. The Most High will allow you to go right back into some shit that you was free of because the situation that he delivered you into wasn't fucking good enough for you. He said, man, you had wires and everything, man. Why would you do something like this? All right. But it wasn't good enough. So if you out there uh, uh, looking your blessings like a gift horse in the mouth, you fucking up, man. See, you got to think you're an elect person, right? You're an elect man, elect woman. Look, wherever you're at right now, the most high knows it. So that's where he's got you. And if you complain about your situation and trying to make it better yourself. All right. He'll let you do that. But don't cry. <laughs> don't cry when you try to fix shit yourself. And then. The Most High allows you to do that, and then it brings you in judgment with him, and then your shit start getting fucked up, all right? Verse 15, and the king's servant said unto the king, behold, thy servants are ready to do whatsoever my lord the king shall appoint. 
And the king went forth and all his household after him. And the king left 10 women, which were concubines, to keep the house. So the only thing David did, he masked out, but he left 10 concubines in his house to keep it. And the king went forth and all the people after him and tarried in a place that was far off. And he, and I mean, it's a lot, verse 18. And all his servants passed on beside him. And all the Sherathites, and all the Pelethites, and all the Gittites, 600 men which came after him from Gath, passed on before the king. Then said the king to Etai, the Gittite, Wherefore goest thou also with us? Return to thy place, and abide with the king, for thou art a stranger, and also an exile. All right? Verse 20. And whereas thou camest, but yesterday, should I this day make thee go up and down with us, seeing I go whither, I may return thou and take back thy brethren, mercy and truth be with thee. And the time answered the king and said, as the Lord liveth, and as my Lord the king liveth, surely in what place my Lord the king shall be, whether in death or life, even there also will thy servant be. And David said to Atai, go and pass over. And Atai, the Gittite, passed over. And all his men and all the little ones that were with him. So David had some loyal people that were still riding with him. And he was like, I don't care if I get killed, I'm going to be where you at. See, when you swore oath back then, it meant something. 23. And all the country wept with a loud voice. And all the people passed over. The king also himself passed over the brook Kid Kidron. And all the people passed over toward the way of the wilderness. And lo, Zadok also and all the Levites were with him, bearing the ark of the covenant of the power. And they set down the ark of the power and Abiathar went up until all the people had done passing out of the city. So he had to evacuate a whole city because of this, man. See, when the leader fall, everybody fall with him. Verse 25, and the king said to, unto Zadok, carry back the ark of the power into the city. If I should find favor in the eyes of the Lord, he will bring me again and show me both it and his habitation. But if he thus say, I have no delight in thee, behold, here am I. Let him do to me as he seemeth good unto him. The king said also, said also unto Zadok, the priest, art not thou a seer? Return into the city in peace and your two sons with you, Ahamaz thy son, and Jonathan the son of Abiathar. See, I will tarry in the plain of the wilderness until there come word from you to certify me. Zadok therefore and Abiathar carried the ark of the covenant, the ark of the power again to Jerusalem, and they tarried there. And David went up by the ascent of Mount Olivet and wept as he went up and he and had his head covered and he he went barefoot and all the people that was with him covered every man his head and they went up weeping as they went up and one told david saying ahithophel is among the conspirators with absalom and david said O lord i pray thee turn the counsel of ahithophel into foolishness and it came to pass see david has he had spies in the camp from uh, 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 from Absalom. See, Absalom was on his ass like some tight ass drawers. All right. And it came to pass that when David was come to the top of the mount where he worshiped the power, behold, Hushai the archite came to meet him with his coat rent and earth upon his head. Unto whom David said, if thou passest on with me, then thou shalt be a burden unto me. Let me get a translation comparison for that. New Living Translation. David told him, if you go with me, you will only be a burden. All right. Verse 34. But if you return to the city, all right, and say unto Absalom, I will be your servant, O king, as I have been thy father's servant hitherto, so will I now also be thy servant. Then may as you flee, may as you, you 
for me to defeat the council of Ahithophel. So he gave him a nugget. All right, he gave him a nugget. The Most High gave him a nugget. See, when you when you were when you were a leader, you got to think. All right, and uh uh uh, Hushai, he sent him back to be a spy for him in the house of Absalom. See there, and he was going to discredit Ahithophel's testimony when uh 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 he got there. So that was going to keep Absalom. Uh, 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 in a state of confusion, see, and he was going to get led the wrong way. Verse 35, and has thou not there with the, with thee Zadok and Abiathar the priest? Therefore it shall be that whatsoever thing thou shalt hear out of the king's house, thou shalt tell it to Zadok and Abiathar the priest. Behold, they have there with them there two sons, Ahamaz and Zadok's son, and Jonathan, Abiathar's son, and by them ye shall send unto me everything that ye can hear. So Hushai, David's friend, came into the city, and Absalom came into Jerusalem. Start in verse, uh, chapter 16. And when David was a little past the top of the hill, behold, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, said, uh, met him with a couple of asses saddled. And upon them two hundred loaves of bread, and a hundred bunches of raisins, and a hundred of summer fruits, and a bottle of wine. And the king said unto Ziba, What meanest thou by these? And Ziba said, The asses be for the king's household to ride on, and the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine that such as be faint in the wilderness may drink. And the king said, And where is thy master's son? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he abideth at Jerusalem. For he said, Today shall the house of Israel restore me the kingdom of my father. Then said the king to Ziba, Behold, thine are all that pertain unto Mephibosheth. And Ziba said, I humbly beseech thee that I may find grace in thy sight, my lord, O king. And when David came to Bahurim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei the son of Gera, he came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and at all the servants of the king of, uh, of, of King David and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. So he had the mighty men with him. He had everybody, right? And they throwing rocks at him. And thus says Shimei when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man. And thou man of Belial, the Lord have returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord have delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. See, the Most High made this shit public, all right? Then said Abishai, the son of Zeruah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. Now, Abishai was one of the mightiest of the mighty men. And the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruah? So let him curse, because the Lord hath said unto him, Curse David. Who shall say then, Wherefore, who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? So they had the green light from the Most High to tell David, Fuck you. You ain't shit. <laughs> It was cursing them, man. See, this how far you could fall from grace. When the Most High is with you, man, all right, can't nobody do nothing to you, man. I ain't gonna say they ain't gonna try, but he gonna get that, he, he gonna get that get back on them. But when you cross the Lord, who gonna help you? He got niggas from the house of Saul throwing rocks at him and cursing him, telling him he ain't shit. And he's the king. And he got all the mighty men by him. And he would be unrighteous to let the mighty men go and cut their heads off. It, it would only make things worse for him. He had to take his lumps. That's what I tell you about taking lumps. That's why the Most High said that David had a heart after the father because, see, he, 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 he took his lumps, man. He could have had the mighty men go over and slaughter all of them and win. But that would have got him in more trouble with the Most High. Oh, 
You can't take some words, but you ain't shit, David. You got the man killed. You took his wife. Most high don't stand for no wrong, man. So David knew that. He like, oh, fuck it. Let him talk, man. Most high put it in his heart to curse me. Let him curse me. Let him throw his rocks. That's why I got my shoes off. I'm walking down there with dirt on my head. I'm, I'm grieving. I fucked up. He had to take that. See, this is a lesson for everybody in here. When you fuck up, you got to fess up. All right? Plain and simple. That's why I do my best to not fuck up, man. I do my best. And if I fuck up, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to apologize. Hey, did I do something? Is everything cool? Because <laughs> I know what he'll do. I got enough problems. <laughs> Y'all hear me? It's a whole lot easier for me to apologize or whatever I got to do. As if I'm wrong, though. I ain't going for no bullshit. But let's finish it up. Verse 11, and David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold, my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do? May this Benjamite do it. Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. See, David knew. Let him curse, man. All right. It may be that the Lord will look on my affliction and that Lord will requite me good for his cursing for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went by the way, Shemi went along in, in the hills side over against him and cursed as he went and threw stones at him and cast dust. So he fucking with him, man. <laughs> and the king and all the people that were with him came weary and refreshed themselves there. Verse 15. And Absalom and all the people of Israel came to Jerusalem and Ahithophel with him. And it came to pass, when Hushai the archite, David's friend, was come unto Absalom, that Hushai said unto Absalom, Power save the king, power save the king. And Absalom said to Hushai, Is this thy kindness to thy friend? Why wentest thou not with thy friend? And Hushai said unto Absalom, Nay, but whom the Lord and this people and all the men of Israel choose, his will I be, and with him will I abide. And again, whom should I serve? Shall I not serve in the presence of his son? As I have served in my father's presence, so will I be in thy presence. Oh, he laying it on thick. Then said Absalom to Ahithophel, Give counsel among you what we shall do. And Ahithophel said unto Absalom, Go into thy father's concubines, which he have left to, the, to keep the house. And all Israel shall hear that thou art aboard of thy father. Then shall the hands of all that are with thee be strong. So they spread Absalom a tent up on the, ho on the top of the house. And Absalom went into his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. Didn't the Mosai say that he was going to do that? He said he was going to give David's wives away to another man, right? And everybody was going to know it. Look at verse 23. And the counsel of Ahithophel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of the power. So was all the counsel of Ahithophel, both with David and with Absalom. Man, crazy. David left them concubines, you know, back at the house to take care of the house, man. They went there and like, hey, y'all, come on out here. And they went on the roof. They wanted everybody to see it. They spread the tent out, you know, make sure they knees they get too dirty <laughs> face down ass up man that's some bad shit uh face down ass up absalom right y'all know man you, you when them balls deep on uh you know, on on uh, David Wise, man. Damn, that's some cold shit. But hey, the Most High keeps his promises, y'all. Now, I've given y'all a good run on this. I'm not going to finish reading all of Samuel, although it is tempting. I got other stuff to pertain to. But what I want to get across to you is, don't let David's folly be your folly. 
If the Mosai said, don't do this, don't do it. If the Mosai says, do this, then do it. That's all you got to do. That's it. Don't make your life no harder than it got to be. Now, I know it's a struggle. I know some of the things he asked us to do on this side of captivity. Okay. It's, 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 it's a pain in the ass. It's hard. It's hard to deal with. But man, it's better than doing something against him and getting caught up trying to fix it yourself. That's folly. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead on and chop this lesson off. I hope you enjoyed David's folly. It's a three-parter, and this is number three. All right. We're going to move on to other pastors. Uh, I want to give all praise to you. How about Shema Mashiach Yawashai? Y'all get ready for the next lesson. KD out. Shalom.